Looking good. <laughs> right, we give it about half of a second. And then he can, there we go, it's live. So hello, good evening, everybody, for the 12th edition of wow. our live stream. Someone waving in the back window there. The 12th edition of live stream. Look at that, massive amount of live streams there. And this evening, we have our international extraordinaire drummer, <laughs> Gary Phillips, who uh, works and helps us out at Carriot. So we're going to discuss this evening reading, reading of music. So why there's advantages and so on, and should we be scared of it? Okay, so we're going to discuss that with Gary. But before that, what we're going to do is to have a little chat with Gary about how he come to meet me, how do we know each other, and how is he associated with, with Carriad. So for those who don't know, as I said, Gary's an integral part of Carriad because he does a lot of the teaching here. So I would say you probably do the bulk of the teaching, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Because the three Lees are always uh, going round in circles with managing everything. There's a limit to how many lessons that... I would take on, isn't it? So Gary takes the bulk of the lessons and helps out in all sorts of ways here. Yeah. So, so that's really good. A tiny little pointer or two, boys and girls. I've noticed someone asking and saying they can't find the live stream. So if you're watching this afterwards, all you do is you go on around about that sort of five to seven. And if you press your bell icon, what I've discovered is that you see it. Oh, it says, oh, look, there's a live stream appearing. So that's the one. And we are improving with our chats as well on here. So I put on there, look, Lee and Gary, say hello. And Andy, again, thank you. He's on every week. Really do appreciate that. So excellent, excellent. Okay, so Gary, how on earth did me and you come to know each other? Well, when you first started Carriad, you firebombed the whole of South Wales drum community on Facebook. So I had this friend request from you, and I'd never heard of you. I've got to be honest. Sorry about that. <laughs> no, nobody and, knew me. <laughs> no, exactly. Nobody. And then, um, so, and you were starting to promote the fact that you were opening this drum shop, and I was thinking to myself, you must be mad in this climate and everything. What is he up to? And then, between Christmas and the New Year in 2014, I looked it up just before he came on here, um, I took my car down to Celtic Tyres for an MOT. As you do. Popped up to the party shop, the other end of the estate, to uh, pick up some gear for a New Year's Eve party. And um, I walked back along the, the main section of the estate, and I saw the shop. And I thought, ah, I'll pop in there. And then that's when we first met. It wasn't like this. Between, was no, no, it was across the road. It was a lot smaller. This is a lot more fit for purpose now. This yeah. place is fantastic with the rooms as well practice rooms and the rehearsal room and your workshop. And I had about six shakers on off yeah, exactly, night. <laughs> exactly. And, and you nearly went... bought something, didn't you? But then you went, oh, hang on, the car's got to be able to. Yeah, it. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I did come back and buy stuff. Of course since. you did. So, um, you did. and, um, yeah, you, you had the welding, you still had the fabrication business going on the other side mm. of, the, of the shop. And, um, yeah, it, I, I'd been asked to start teaching again because I hadn't taught for a while. And I was looking for somewhere to teach because I couldn't do it in the house. And yeah. uh, you offered your services in a room. And um, I started with one or two students. And it was I remember because I had in yeah. my mind, I didn't know a, a single drummer. I didn't know anybody. I couldn't remember half the drum makes or anything anymore because it was such a big gap. Yeah. And yeah. I remember the first thing that was coming into my mind as you were looking. And I asked a little bit about you. I said, do you deny? Do you teach? Yeah. That's and it. you said, yeah. well, I have done, yeah. and so on. And I said, well, exactly. I'm looking for somebody. I needed that start, isn't it? Yes. So we had a tiny little corner, a couple of shakers, yeah. met Gary, and then slowly but surely it started, didn't it? Yes. And we're going to touch on the reading with that for okay. yourself in, in a minute. Um, and then we slowly developed, didn't we? We, we took on a couple of students, there's three or four. And just before the pandemic, uh, the original one two years ago, we were pushing that 40 plus students a week with me. Yeah, yeah. And I genuinely think if that hadn't have happened, we'd probably be into the 50, to, possibly even towards 60 per week yeah, sure. coming yeah. through the doors. So it was pushing. Yeah. It's not that we've lost as such, is it? But it sort of just slows everything a little, doesn't it? Yeah. Exactly. So the teaching isn't yeah. as much through that pandemic and people are nervous to come back and so on. 
but since we've been able to return, we we push him back up to that yes. figure again yeah. now, haven't we? Yeah, exactly. And I've noticed um, again of December into January, we've had another uptake again. So yeah, you always find that the New Year people, of course, decide to do <clears throat> something different. So there's always a nice uptake. Yeah. So January. we are planning, and we to push again towards this sort of um, fifty and maybe even more now this year if that works well. So there's yeah. lots, and we. Yeah. We may have to expand how we teach you. We'll worry about that later on. Good. So, so that's really, really good. So, that's how we met. So, it was when did we say? 2014. Gee, look at that. Christmas and the New Year, and yeah. then yeah. 2015 January I started the teaching. I think, yeah, so, yeah. marvelous. Long time ago now. Yeah, it was. Now I remember you saying to me when I said, "Do you teach?" and you said, "Yes." I remember you saying that you needed to really bring your books back in and refresh yes, because yeah. it had been a bit of a gap. And that's yeah. partly to explain about reading and why sh we shouldn't necessarily be nervous. Mm -hmm. So to take on a teaching role to represent the shop was obviously something now that's going to make you think, oh, hold on. Yes, yeah, yeah. Because there's an expectation, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. But you dusted down your books, didn't you? I did, yeah. I blew the dust off them, and they were all out of date, so I had to buy new ones for the new <laughs> syllabus anyway. So, uh, yeah. You got a sail off me there, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Always a sail. Everyone yeah, looks absolutely. at me and thinks he's going to have a sail for you. Yeah, so, um, yeah, and in, in fairness, I mean, the, the Trinity Rock and Pop stuff is, is really good, and the, yeah. the latest update of the syllabus is pretty good. Yeah. And... Um, Rock school as well. We we do. We started here, rock so. school, didn't we? Yeah, we started predominantly. Rock school, yeah, yeah. yeah. Trinity yeah. now for this year to combine. We're trying to encourage students to do both, so they get to understand not just one style of reading, yeah, yeah but different ways yeah. of reading, different yeah. dialect, if you like. Exactly. Um, so it's that thing again, as you said, brushing down, looking back over it. But you've redeveloped your skills, and you by just being involved in it every day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, and I, similar with yourself. I well, know, I was a non-reader yeah, at that exactly, point. When yeah, I, as yeah. in mine, I always harp on about it, but it was literally 15 years. I didn't go near it because yeah. of the addiction to the blooming things. Yeah. And then this happened. Yeah. I kept telling my wife, I can't look at a drum kit. I can't. It'll set me off. <laughs> no, it won't. <laughs> Bang. But we do love it. But however, having such a big I didn't read at all, so I was very yes. apprehensive yes. about that yeah. in general. Yeah. So you started, as I said, and then I, I followed suit. Mm. So that's mm. part of what we want to say tonight, is to encourage those that feel nervous about reading or feel that that's almost as if, like, if you're going to read music all of a sudden, as if you've got to be the best yes. within a very short period of time. Yeah. Like, you've just got to suddenly know everything. Exactly. But you'd agree that's not the case, is it? Yeah, there's, there's a difference between being a really red hot sight reader like in the in the west end or in the, in the theaters or the, the the film studios and what have you and and just <clears> being a, a reader that can look at a chart and interpret it because a lot of drum music is all about interpretation yes. anyway but um sight reading that's something you need to be doing quite a lot anyway to get yeah. that experience but people think they should be at that level straight away whereas they don't need to be as long as no. you can look at something take your time and understand how the groove is or what the film means then you read yeah. it yeah so. and, and, and you, you sometimes to to do a particular show or to join a band or do whatever you might have weeks or, or longer might you yeah and you it's about rehearsals about like interpreting the two yes. so i just wanted to touch base with one or two of you that again look if you don't read honestly it, it, I, I tell everybody if i can do it you can do it, because I am not the sharpest tool in the box half the time. Um, no, no, I, I, I genuinely have my... Uh, I could spend ages um, looking at something, thinking, what, 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 what? But what I've got is that determination. I'll yes. keep at it and yeah. keep at it. Chip yeah. away, I go away, because I think, oh, I can't think of that today. I'll come back at it tomorrow. Five minutes, bite size, yeah. and I find over time I, I get it. But look, Trinity Rock and Pop, if you could see that on the camera... Initial book. And the nice thing with this, look, you've got a bit of James Brown, you've got a bit of Queen, Bob Marley. So you've said this before when you got it. The nice thing is, if you're already playing these songs, mm. when you see the patterns a lot, yes. as you mentioned before, you get yeah. used to them, yeah. don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah it's, definitely. It's just like recognising words. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, so we've got, so we've got that so one. Exactly that. 
So the initial on there, the nice thing with the rock school curriculum, which is actually a little bit deeper, isn't it, as a curriculum, you actually go right back to the very, very start, and you're just yes, learning yeah. what a rest is, yeah. what a stave is, and the very basics. And if you can count to four, honestly, you will get through this book if you can play drums at all. And then you just slowly develop. The thing is, you have to do it, like you said, with you brushing down. Yeah. You have to do it regular, don't you? Yeah, Little. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Would you say because you teach, it's really made you much sharper again to, to read? Yeah, certainly. I mean, when, once you go up the grades, there, there are things in there that I, I still can't play now, but I can sit down and, and try and figure them out <clears> and do them slowly. But yeah, they, they, the, the good thing about these syllabus, the Rock School and the Trinity, is the way they grade them and they, you progress through them. So exactly. And that's, get that's what we got, different. isn't it? You, you go drum method with Rock School, then you go debut, then grade one, and then grade one through to grade eight. And the Trinity is one to, to eight with initial as well. So that's the whole purpose, yes, isn't it? To yeah, teach yeah. and to train. And I think if you just constantly, uh, or, or look every day, five minutes, if you're prepared to do that mm -hmm. a little bit here, put the song on and see if you can follow where yeah. the chart is going, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Not the deep stuff, but yeah. the simple stuff. Yeah. And then you can build your confidence. And they, you. come, they come with, with complete tracks with the drums in anyway. So yeah. listen to the... What the drums are doing, yeah, as well as without drums, with and without clicks. So. Excellent. So, so it's worth it, guys. As I said, I, I, I find it. I, I, I would never go back now to ignoring that. You know, um, and Gary, obviously, because you have done circus work, and you, yes, international, yeah. international <laughs> circus. <laughs> you've, you've gone out now. Let, let folk know, you, you do big band, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I, I manage a 17-piece big band, 19-piece if you include the male and female vocalists. Like lining up the cats? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's like running a nursery school sometimes. But, um, yeah, it's, we'll edit that bit. Yeah, they're, they're great. Oh, it's live, isn't it? And they're a great bunch of boys and girls. And um, yeah, we, we have some fun. And they're really good standard yeah. musicians. And, and that's really helped my reading, being able to do that. Yeah. My dad was um, played in big bands. He's a sax player, and that's when I first got introduced to it. And um, I'd, I'd always wanted to, but you don't really get the opportunities. You get thrown in at the deep end quite a bit. Yeah. Big bands, you turn up, and you get all these things that you've never seen before. But the more I've done it, the more I get used to yeah, it. Of course, it builds that confidence. Yeah, exactly. Again. And yeah. you could do that privately, can you? If you're a little bit shy, yes, you can be yeah. doing that. You just build yeah. your experience by yeah. buying. The box playing music, I think, is key. Yeah. Sometimes we buy the rudimental snare book, yes. get a bit fed up yeah. after page four because we, we, we haven't yeah. got time. Yeah. But playing music and reading what. Now, we use a little app on YouTube called Drumistry, don't we? Correct. We find yeah. really good. Yeah. It's yeah, not perfect, good. but it's good, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And it plays the original song and, and follows the drum score all the way along. So exactly. drum history, that's a really good one on yeah, there. Yeah, there's quite a few. I mean, if there are songs that people like, it normally if you if you search for them and put drums at the end of it, it'll come up with yeah. as many as, as are available. And you find that most of the, the famous songs, there are lots of them in there. Yeah. And you get somewhere, you, you can actually watch the drummer as well because different students learn yes. in different ways. Some yeah. of them are happy just to have the music. Some of them learn by ear. Some of them just like to watch what's going on. And these facilities now, I mean, it was never like that when I was coming Oh, up. I know. Um, it was sort of latter stages of when I was first learning, VHS video started coming out with the likes of Steve Gadd oh, and things like that. And, uh, yeah, exactly. It's a long time ago. And um, people are probably going, what's a VHS? <laughs> and um, just just watching people on telly, like Top of the Pops and the old Grey Whistle Test and things like that. So, yeah. No, that's, that's the only way you could learn and listening to records. But it's now all available. So, so many yeah. resources. Available. There's no excuse. There's no excuse. Yeah. Right, so I've written about five points here. Um, number one, helps accuracy. Now, if you're playing with 18 people, yes. if they're all non-readers, yeah. when it comes to a fill, you've got 18 people playing a fill slightly different to everybody else, yes, you? especially exactly. if it's a da 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 yeah. da 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 Exactly. But if you are all readers, then all 17, 18, in theory, should all be following that, and that's what creates the music yeah. sounding right. Yeah, it? sure. It's it. You get, sometimes you, you've got the whole band phrasing together, 
other times it might be one section, the trumpet section, and you'd be phrasing with those. But yes. you have to know what they're playing in order to be able to phrase along with them. So accuracy, and, and that's important because we want to give people who pay to watch musicians play, uh, play, even though the money's not great at the moment. But however, if somebody's taken the time to come and see you and they've paid, I all, I'm a firm believer that that should be a proper done show. Yes. Not yeah. just, you know, what yeah. we fancy because that's the way it is. It should be thought out and done properly. So we got that. I, I mentioned here, it helps with the structures of your grooves and your fills. If you want to improve your grooves, your, your playing, but you also want to get better fills, the thought process of knowing your, your crotchets, quavers, semi-quavers, etc., the counting yes. that goes on in the head changes, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. You know it's that one, two, three, and four within a rhythm. Yeah. You don't get confused halfway through mm. thinking of, is it that or is it that? The yeah. number counts. Yeah. Yeah. And then you create fills, do you, that you can either write down to remember or it sort of just changes your thought, doesn't it? You yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, you, you know, you can, you can look at the, the way the, the bar is subdivided um, when, when you can read these sort of things. And then you can, you can look at different orchestrations. So taking yeah. something that you might just do on the snare and think, well, what if, what if I put it on the tom or the bass drum? And then you try and figure out which part of that fill goes where. And just do different ones. Yeah, and it just opens doors, doesn't it? It, it, it opens it creates, whole, yeah. Whole so if that ties in films. with the third one I mentioned, which is gives us different ideas. It's outside yes. the box. Because yeah. when you're lo looking at a grade four or five, six, seven, and eight, as you prove within the box, there are fills there that are tough, and eight. Yeah. But if, yeah, you, exactly. if you go for it and you crack them, you think, well, there's another fill in my back yeah. pocket. Yeah, exactly. And, and the great thing about the books is they cover different genres as well. So you, you play in things that you might not necessarily play, yeah. grime and reggae and things like that. Yeah, so, no, yeah. excellent. And it helps you, I find it helps you to stop forgetting halfway through a song. I'm trying to do a couple of like little cover tracks here for YouTube and I, and I'm sitting there, I'm playing, practicing, and I'm thinking, oh no, it's not that part there, it's that part there. Yeah. It came up on the Drummistry app. Yeah. As I'm playing along, because it's there, you don't have to think. Yeah, you know, right. it's yeah. just, it's yeah. there. We were talking the other day about jump, weren't we, Van Halen? Yeah. And I, I could never figure out what was going on in the middle of that. But and I it's saw, in the Trinity. I saw it written down. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. And that was just a matter of trying to yeah, play it. Yeah, I can't play it, but at least I know why I can't play <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, that's why. Yeah. What was what? he doing? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I've written here, it's good for your cheat notes. You haven't got to be a, an expert uh, right out of you. No. You haven't got to have the most expensive program and everything's done. No. But if you just want to get some quick cheat notes of the the start, I, I find if we're playing two hour show for somebody, for an example, or whatever it is, covers, weddings, whatever it is, do you find sometimes if you don't jot something down, you'll go into song four. Yeah. You know what the song is called, but you can't remember what it yeah. is. Yeah, exactly. Who starts this? What was that song? Yeah. So a little cheat note, and it can be just the first bar, can't it, or a couple yeah, of bars. Because yeah. once that's triggered, mm -hmm. your brain knows the song then. Yeah, sure. But I'm terrible for that. I'm like, oh, I can't remember. Yeah, I'm can't. the same. I mean, if, if it's songs I, I know and I've played for years and years, it's not a problem. But if there may be one or two more modern ones that I'm not familiar with, I find that if I just oh, I'm like write out throughout everything. <laughs> yeah, one or, two, one or two bars of groove just to remind myself. Yeah. And then... Um, Someone says to me, Billy Jean. Yeah. Who? Yeah. Michael Jackson, <laughs> Billy Jean. Who? I can't, I can't remember. <laughs> How's it go? Yeah. You started Lee, do I? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. How fast is it? <laughs> Please, but, but honestly, I can't be that daft. So it's good. It's a good cheat note. It creates, it's easier. Yeah. A, a little privilege that I had was to go to Rockfield and I did this couple of songs. And I found then, even though I'm terrible writer, and I, and I have um, experience so far with reading, but it's enough to, to get my brain thinking. Yeah. But it meant I went in the control room, I had the ghost track roughly of what they wanted to do, but now it's like this is what we want out of you. Yeah. Instead of trying to work on memory over and over, and 25 takes later, you still can't remember, yeah. I went straight in there, pen and paper, right, what's the verse? Yeah. What's the line she sings into the chorus? And I jotted down really basic things of that's the groove for the verse that's it for the thing and i but without trying to read you don't have that you no and exactly. then 
nobody's looking at me in the studio, so my head was pinned to my piece of paper. Yeah. It's you. Yeah. And all I had to think about is the feel and not messing up so yeah. that they could do one takes. Yeah. Yeah. So, again, it's a huge advantage, isn't it? Live or well, must have done all right, because they invited you back, didn't they? Well, yeah, I've been proposed. We will see, we will see, yeah, we will see. Stuff. I think they've invited me back to make the tea <laughs> <laughs> for the drummer. Well, yeah, that's what studio work is all about. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, and I mentioned you then, to depth drummers. Uh, if, if you're really new to drumming, depth drum is basically where you, you stand in for somebody on the night, isn't yeah. it, where yeah. you yeah. may know the band, you may not even know them, but... Somebody's fallen ill and you walk straight into the situation. Yeah, yeah. If they can send you the set list and what they do, if you can uh, read and write a little again, you can create a few notes you can put down yeah, yeah. On, on there. So yeah, you don't sure. want to read you live where you're stuck in no, there. No. But it's about that ability to, to think, I'm not sure about the middle eight or whatever. And you look yeah. up and you just got your little reminder to the side. Like the little man that just tells yeah, exactly. you, isn't it? Well, I mean, when I, when I was doing the circus, we were doing however many shows a day for six months, and it was the same show every time. So after, after the first few weeks or months, yeah. you, you weren't reading much of it. But every now and again, there was something tricky, and you yeah. always have that there that you could refer to. So. Yeah. So it, it's worth it. We've talked on the series that if you learn some rudiments, it's surprising what it does. It does open up a door. Yeah. If you get a little paradiddle, little double... Uh, had a diddle diddle under your belt just to start don't be frightened of him it does open a little door yeah. how far you want to take that is up to you isn't it yeah you you don't have to say it's 40 essential rudiments unless i master them i can't be a drummer no. you start off and you yeah. keep building get nice grooves under your belt get the feel and then learn to read and, yeah. and a lot of students learn from infancy don't they they start reading as they start playing yeah, yeah. and the yeah. mad thing is with that then is by the time they become good drummers, they're yeah. already reading and not even yeah. think about it. And it's a, it's a great feeling when you're teaching a student, you put something new in front of them, and they, they start playing it straight away. Yes. Think, oh. Yeah. You know, it is sinking in. They, they so, see yeah. it. And it's good for communication, isn't it, again, yes. with yeah. students? Because yeah. you can yeah. say, no, look, the quaver of the four there, and whatever. We yeah. can chat and scribble it on the wall, exactly. and so on. Yeah. So, so that's pretty much it then. So it's not so scary. Um, most music is, is pretty simple if we do our standard common time with, you know, functions and weddings and stuff. And we, we yeah. tend to play yeah. rock and roll. Yeah, exactly. They were never um, recorded by being written, were they? They were no. guys no. in a studio. It was played long before it was ever written. Yeah. yeah. So you can learn the song, just use it as a tool. And one final thing, and I always think for me as a little analogy on it, I use it like a sat-nav. You don't want to take it everything you see so literal yes. that it paralyzes you and you yeah. end up down a, down a lane you shouldn't go down. Yeah. Use your sense, use your skill of playing, use your brain, but have that there yeah, so that exactly. you can interpret it, from it and make it good. It's part of the armory, isn't it? I yeah. Mean, you, you could play it exactly as written, but if the rest of the band have missed something or if your written part isn't exactly accurate, strictly accurate, you've still got to be listening to what's going on and watching what's happening. Yeah. So it's just part of the, the whole exactly. thing. Exactly. Right? Using it and, and being brave enough to say what's right and wrong. Because yes. some folk who write the drum scores down for you are not necessarily that good, are they? Exactly. They're not, <laughs> they're not even drummers. So exactly. You, know, you may get uh, different members of, of the band writing it, and they've got no idea how many limbs a drummer has got, for example. Yeah. So, so you might have to hit five things at, exactly. it, at one time. So use right. it for your benefit. And the, and the final portion on that, don't go on the forums where everyone's chucking up, look at this that I've been reading, how do you interpret Because you look at it and it can paralyze you because you're yeah. thinking, wow, I don't understand this stuff. Yeah. Don't, don't get into all of that. Just pick up, learn, and use it so that you, you have, a, as you said, something as an armory to benefit you for what you're trying to play. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. And that way, the pressure's off. Isn't it? Exactly. Who exactly. cares? As you're reading it, just gently, like that. Yes. And the, the, the more you read, the more you, you, you see how different the charts can be. Exactly. So a, a classical piece where every note is written compared to, I don't know, a, a straightforward jam night or something where someone would just say, this is what I want you to play and just tells you the style and how many bars yeah. to play. So. Yeah. And any, anywhere in between. Then, so. yeah. 
Excellent. And it's up to you what you do with it a lot of the time. We have that advantage. We can interpret and treat them as a guide rather than a, yeah. a de facto set in stone type thing. Excellent. Really, really, really good. Thank you, Gary. My pleasure. So Thanks, if Steve. you want lessons, if you're local to us, don't forget, come down and see us and uh, we will look after you here. And um, we keep developing. We've got a lot of exciting things coming up again now for this year. It's moved. We have got the two curriculums. We've got more developing to do with the education as well. I got some stuff in, in the brain for that. But we got other stuff going on. We can't explain quite yet, but we're close to it. That's going to make this another more exciting little shop for everybody. So we just keep working very, very hard. <laughs> well, you do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just turn up from time to time. Strolls in, yeah. <laughs> has his coffee, and uh, takes the cream and water. Out. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> but we love it. It's we all love about it. efficiency. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Right. Thank you, Gary. Thanks, Thanks for Steve. coming down. No Thanks problem. for everything Pleasure. you do for us. No, thank you. With the teacher. No, yeah, but thank it's it's this. it's good. Right. Yeah. That, um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, yeah. thank you. <laughs> so excellent. Jeez. Take care, everybody. And there's somebody in the window again. Oh. Back, and look after yourselves thanks again guys thanks for watching either afterwards and so on but uh, keep watching keep drumming it's good therapy for the for the old uh, soul excellent tell our all Cheers. bye bye Ta-da. you have to keep waving oh do i sorry yeah. okay, I'll keep I stand over here for a while. oh you're not going to switch it off you and i sit <laughs> i sit here like a lemon right <laughs> Still going. I'm still going. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da.